What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today I have sad news. Torkoal has passed away in tournament results. We got the crew here, we have Neil VGC, uh, resident Neil VGC, and that guy in a beanie, resident tournament organizer. And the reason I have these two on is because they were the only two online, but it works out because Neil plays in a lot of online tournaments and Beanie runs a lot of online tournaments. So we got the best of both worlds. And me, I have a YouTube channel, but so does Neil. And I, I think Beanie also does too, but you're mostly like a Twitter guy, aren't you? Yeah, I'm literally on Twitter way too often. Like I have a YouTube channel. I have 39 subs subscribers. Oh, not you a have a YouTube? Video. Yeah, zero videos uploaded, okay, but I have well, a channel. <laughs> still counts, still counts. So both of those are gonna be linked in the description down below. Uh, let's, you know, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, answer comment question of the day, which is what do you think about Torkoal in this format? Uh, I, you're obviously gonna be a little bit biased coming out of this video, but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, and also check out Patreon, everything else, bonus videos, stuff. Let's do this. All right. Uh, subscribe to Moxie. Let's go. Yes, that. Oh. Neil, I have a question for you. Mm. How many Torkoal have you faced in tournament as of series two? So I played a one series two tournament and I played, I think five rounds of Swiss. I dipped after that and mm -hmm. you I made top zero. cut and then didn't play top cut. That was so funny. Biggest Dude, flex. I had yeah. I had badminton <laughs> since I just left, but um, yeah, I played one Torkoal and the team went like, it didn't really work because I had a Pelipper Palafin. Dude, on honestly. I, that's the thing. I have a couple of notes here, and I, I I feel like you would all agree to this. And I'm gonna spoil the entire talking points of this video at the beginning. But here are my notes on Torkoal. Uh, one, it requires either Hard Trick Room or Lily Cole to really do anything, and neither of those are super duper good. Uh, it loses really easy to rain because now that Palafin exists and it has a priority water move, even under Trick Room, it like doesn't get full power eruptions, and also Flip Turns really good versus it. And Water Amoongus picked up a lot. That's really rough for Torkoal. But I think the worst of all that I think we should discuss pretty heavily, uh, it powers up the opponent's Pokemon. That's kind of like true. bad. Yeah, I've like, noticed that. Yeah, because also like the Pokemon that Torkoal operates with, right? Like if we look at like the past forms, um, or I guess just like the good past forms here, we'll go through like tournament result past forms. There's uh, Fluttermane. It's like a fast Pokemon, right? So Torkoal is yeah. just like, it's like that kid at the supermarket standing next to his mom, like asking for stuff while the mom like does all the work. Uh, it, it doesn't, like it doesn't do anything. Like if Fluttermane will pick up whatever KOs, Torkoal is gonna take damage. It, like it doesn't work on like a Trick Room setting, which is where Torkoal needs to be. Uh, same with Roaring Moon, it's a fast Pokemon. It, it doesn't want Trick Room and Torkoal kind of needs the Trick Room. And Great Tusk is like the closest thing to a past form that actually likes Torkoal, right? Because it's like a ground type, it doesn't want to take water damage as much. Torkoal's kind of good for that. And it's not like super fast, but yeah, like yeah. It, it feels like you're you're never actually getting that value that you need out of it, you know? Yeah, and like even with Great Tusk, you want to actually run max speed Jolly so you beat Timid Goldango because it's like faster. Isn't it by like two points? Yeah, so if you just run like max speed Jolly, you can always just headlong rush it. Yeah, and, and it looks like this is fast anyways, yeah. Yeah, also other neat thing is that you can headlong rush like both garganical forms like rock and poison yeah i feel like we're like really lacking good ground types to beat garganical right now because fighting types are no longer doing it uh and and i don't know i see great tusk probably picking up a little bit because of that uh you know filling in that role but yeah i mean i guess what what else like we know that garganical is super good like and that doesn't torkoal doesn't do well into garganical yeah, it's kind of like, also there's a bunch of like random armors and DD on ladder. Like there's this saying where if they reject open team sheet, they probably have armors and DD. Yeah. I mean, uh, Beanie, like as far as your tournaments that you run, obviously we're looking at one of these. Um, what top cut, What what is your like actual top cut? Is it top uh, 16 or top 32? He it's does always eight. eight. He does it, eight. He does eight? Okay. So for this tournament, there are no Torkoal in top cut, right? I don't think there's any in top 16. Oh, there's, there's, there's one, one. yeah, there's 15. one at 15. Uh, and I guess the way that they're using Torkoal here um, is there's a Citrus oh, Berry Brute Bonnet and there's a Covert Cloak Sandy Shock. So 
they're both getting benefit out of that. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? Like Brute Bonnet wants a little bit more attack and Sandy Shocks, I, I don't know really. Yeah, I guess it's like if we go into the builder, um, the way you'd want to run Torquil is kind of just like the Yawn Protect, maybe like Helping Hand, so you can actually power up the stuff. But like what I've noticed about this is like you can run Flamethrower as the last one probably, or Heatwave. Yeah, you I think Heatwave is probably better. Yeah, he weighs better, right? You can run something like that, but like the thing is, is like, like Torkoal as a Pokemon, just doing that isn't like really that good. Like you're kind of just playing with like a B tier mon when you can just be playing with a bunch of S's and A's. Yeah, Torkoal gets hard carried by Trick Room and the opponent having a lack of switch ins to like Eruption. And also, like, you typically see it next to, and this is gonna sound really weird, but Torkoal's like best partner this generation is probably actually a Ranguru. Funny enough, just because it makes up for the fact that Torkoal doesn't deal as much damage as you want it to without tearing. And as a Terra Pokemon, you don't want to have to waste it on Torkoal. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's so easily shut down by, like, jet punches, priority moves, that sort of thing, that, like, if you, like, waste your, your Terra on a Torkoal, when you could use it on, like, a better Pokemon, like, I don't know, Golden Go, Terra, Terra Steel, obviously. Um, You know, I'll be honest, I was going to say Terra Flying Roaring Moon, but I'm kind of not on that... I'm no longer on that on that bandwagon. I think it's actually a little bit bad. But, you know, defensive Terras, like Terra Poison Garganical, like, these are all, like, better uses of your Terra. And, like, while Torkoal might be able to clean up an endgame situation, it almost feels like you're sort of tunnel visioning yourself into using the Terra as, like, your main way of winning the game when you use this Pokemon offensively. So, like, it gets, it gets, yeah, like, it gets relegated to a support role if you want to use it in any capacity that isn't, like, a waste. Yeah, I feel like tournament-wise, Torkoal is not really the best, but if you just want to, like, ladder to, like, 1600, you can probably just, like, Torkoal it through. Oh, yeah. No, Torkoal is, like, perfectly fine on ladder. I, I guess that's the caveat. Like, in tournament versus on ladder, Torkoal yeah, is, like, so two different, different monsters. Yeah, it's especially with open team sheet format. Like, it mm -hmm. really, really can't make those two formats, like, more different, you know? Like, they're complete 180 from, from each other. Yeah. Um, wait, this seems like a really large top cut. It's like 32. Uh, no, which one? Uh, oh, this, this is the Nino. Nino. Yeah, this one's the Nino yeah, one. Yeah, this one's 32. Yeah, these yeah. ones are massive. Uh, yeah, see, I, I run I, Monday on Wednesday, and I don't want to be here all night. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. all right, for the Nino tour, how many Torkoal are in this top cut? I, You know what's funny? There were two Pink Kirchen in top cut. I remember this. And that's the thing, right? Like, on the hard Trick Room teams, the Pokemon that like you tend to see that's like a, a paradox form is actually a future form. It's Iron Hands, right? Uh, and Iron Hands doesn't get any benefit from Torkoal. But Pinkurchin, oddly enough, isn't even that bad. Uh, it, just because Pinkurchin is able to block like sleep from Amoongus, and it also gives it like the uh, booster energy, not booster energy, but it gives it like the protosynthesis on the Iron Hands while allowing Iron Hands to still be like an assault vest Pokemon and also not having to Terra Grass to prevent sleep like these are like super nice things yeah dude i think someone cut the other tour with like a jack bun so you just like switch it in take a hit and then you get into an actual good pokemon yeah i think it's this one actually is it this one too yeah i know another one was like that yeah so like two eject buns have actually top cut different tours yeah and that's literally the entire purpose of pinkurchin is just like i block sleep i go away uh, and yeah it's like a good pokemon offensively because Thunder and Thunderbolt hit pretty hard, even off of like what 101 base special attack. Is it 101? Oh no! Yeah. If it was 101, actually, oh, be kind of never mind. It's a 91. That's yeah, cool. that's, weak. that's that is kind of weak, but it's you know, okay. That hits pretty hard. Thunderbolt, Thunder, those sort of things. Uh, it just doesn't get moves. It just doesn't get moves. Honestly, just give this thing nasty plot, and I'd use it. You know what's <laughs> actually a set that I faced? Uh. I don't know. I faced Acupressure. Oh my god, did they and, just like Acupressure recover? Yeah, well no, because uh, you can use Acupressure on a partner. So you would Acu they would Acupressure like um, partner Iron Hands and it would get like a random plus two boost. And at one point they got a plus two special defense boost and I just wasn't able to break it because it kept drain punching to get all the health back. Wait, that's so funny because yeah. like if you get defense boost, it's good. Attack boost is good. Special defense boost is good. Even speed is fine. Oh, yeah, because like outside of trick room, like you might still you. Yeah, and that's how. That's the thing. Torkoal isn't even like on paper a bad Pokemon. It's just in practice where like Pink Kirchen on paper is a bad Pokemon, and in practice it works. Like we're we're in like the bizarro VGC format. 
Yeah, nothing makes sense yeah. anymore. Yeah. I, I, what other like metagame pressures do you think are keeping Torkoal from being good beyond the fact that it just doesn't seem to fit on any team comp super, super well? Oh, Honestly, imagine. those two things that you mentioned are like the biggest ones. Sorry, uh, yeah, go ahead. Don Dozo, bro. I mean, I can uh, run clear smog, but like still. Yeah, Don Dozo is a big issue here. This is, yeah, this is um, Alex Underhill's team. Underhill. Yeah. yeah, so Don Dozo is able to like just absolutely wall it out with Terra Dragon because it gets the plus two special defense boost, which even though it doesn't have good special defense, it's able to like live stuff now. Uh, and it resists it. And it doesn't care about Rage Powder or anything because, uh, you know, Rage Powder is in effect Earthquake. It just immediately gets results on Torkoals, you know? Yeah, and like a lot of random Pokemon just run Terra Fire, like Sylveon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another big thing. Yeah, Terra Fire, Sylveon. What else runs like a Terra type that on? I've seen Terra Fire uh, Ronum Wash a few times. Um, I ran Terra Fire a couple things. Yeah, uh, a Volt run a Pizza too, like Terra Fire or not Terra Fire, but like Water. Yeah. Oh, and also Terra Water Vex Calibre. Like that's another thing. I'm pretty sure this one's actually Terra yeah, Water. You actually give it a thermal exchange boost. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of. Oh, and yeah. And we recently discovered Vex Calibre is actually good. So that's another issue with Torkoal is that it's just feeding Vex Calibers, and then they just hit him with like a. I don't know. I have, I've seen a few run Terra Blast, but I guess Stomping Tantrum works too. I think yeah. the best way to use Torkoal, at least like from my experience when I've been like teaching people, is that. You like you you force your opponents into specific game plans to beat the Torkoal, and then you just don't bring the Torkoal. Yeah, I mean, I guess what would like an ideal Torkoal team be? Would it be like we have Torkoal here? We Very have like Ferrigarath, Iron Hands, Group on it, and then we need like a fast mode just to be annoying. Right. Fluttermane, uh, Roaring Moon. Are we really <laughs> just two poke? I don't think this is the ideal Torkoal team. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know. I, I feel like you kind of want a second trick trick uh, setter. Dude, Fluttermane. Trust, trust. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fluttermane does get trick room. Yeah. You can do Mimikyu. Mimikyu is pretty, pretty decent. That's instead true. Of, I would do it instead of the... I don't know. I'm indifferent between Fluttermane and Roaring Moon. I mean, I what if... All right. I, I, this isn't a team builder, but I'm just trying to figure out like what, what would even work here. I think maybe... A way that you could use Torkoal is it underspeeds a lot of the Pokemon that would be used to beat like Garganical. Yeah. So, or like, you know, you could do a Torkoal. You guys want to see the Choice Scarf Torkoal plus Murkrow? We're not doing that. Okay. We're I'm not kidding. doing that. Yeah, but no, like it just feels like I'll, I know. I remember reading a lot of comments on my videos saying like, "Oh, Torkoal usage." stock's gonna go up through the roof like it's gonna be insane you won't be able to beat torkoal it'll just be torkoal plus five you know paradox pokemon and i always knew they were gonna be wrong about that but i didn't expect them to be like this wrong you know like i thought torkoal was actually gonna be like a solid pick no i thought torkoal was gonna be good i'm actually kind of surprised that it's like falling off yeah i knew it was gonna be bad okay. immediately when i hopped on ladder and i didn't you know have torkoal but everybody else did that I was playing against, and it was just keep, you know, giving me all the boost. I'm like, cool, thank you. Yeah, because it feels it like it, it feeds you, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. Dude, Torkoal's the berry tree. <laughs> it's like it's the, the berry tree. tree. Yeah, it's the giving tree. Torkoal's a tree. Uh, oh, someone needs to put that on Twitter. Just Torkoal as a tree. tree. Yeah, Torkoal's a very <laughs> kind soul. Look at him. He's old. He's tired, and he just wants you to have a special attack boost. <laughs> all right. I mean. Also, Terra Water Amoongus just shuts it down. Like, just, I, every Amoongus is Terra Water now. Like, it isn't even a competition between, I remember when Terra Rock was, like, a thing for Amoongus for, like, a day? It's still legit, not gonna lie. I nah. mean, you're weak to ground, but, like. Nah, Terra Water's so much better. I guess, I guess Rock's nice versus Iron Hands for two seconds until they drain punch you. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Anyways, uh, anything else we want to talk about in regards to, like, Torkoal stats and, like, why it's probably not actually a good Pokemon? Oh, Iron Bundle. That's I Terra Water, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not even like Terra Water. It just one shots because <laughs> it hits yeah, it with so oh, strong for no what, reason. Yeah, what's Iron Bundle special attack stat? Isn't it like one twenty? One twenty four. It's it's one thirty six speed. It, it like its special attack stat feels like it's one fifty, even though it's not even close. Yeah, I always think I'm going to get one shot by it. Like, whenever my Palafin switches in on a freezer, I'm like, that's it, man. It's game over. And then I take, like, 60 and I go, oh, 
<laughs> it's Iron Bundle, yay. Yeah, anyways, it felt so much more broken at the start of the format, but yeah. I mean, that's all I really have to say about Torkoal, and we're just we're just berating Torkoal. Is there anything positive we can say about it before we leave? Yeah, it's, it's the Pokemon of giving. It's the giving yeah. Pokemon. Look, if you want to be the most generous showdown player right now, please run Torkoal. Please run Torkoal into my rain team plus non-protosynthesis life orb booster. <laughs> wait, wait, no. Uh, dude, actually, that's so much better in the new version because I'm life orb. <laughs> Just give me a booster oh, yeah. energy on top. Wait, that's so good. Oh, please bring sun to my rain matchup, please. I think if you build Torkoal Trick Room properly, it's actually, like pretty legit, but like you have to play it pretty well too. And like the team has to be really well built. And it has to be like hard yeah. Trick Room is the issue. See, you can look build as well. It's just it has to be like really smart. Like everything has to be very, very precise. At least that's yeah. like for my experience. Maybe like, like I think I was Torkoal, got to like 1500 within like an hour, but like it was still kind of. You guys know how like people were saying Meowskarada was uh, bad when I play it, but great when my opponent plays it. Yeah, I feel like Torkoal is the exact opposite. It's it's Torkoal good when I play, but bad when my opponents play it. it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I have no other way. I can't even. I feel like if it were a week ago and I didn't know what was good, I would have an idea as to how to make a good Torkoal team. But it, all of them feel like they're just going to be ladder teams and not like a tournament team. Mm -hmm. all right. Fair enough. You guys know the Torkoal counter? What's the Torkoal counter? Rain Dance Della, Rain Dance Della Bird. Dog, I'm I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no. All right, we're going to cut off the video. I'm tired. I don't want to talk about the turtle anymore. I miss him. Uh, uh, so, a little video. bit of an unscripted, chaotic video, but I figured we'd just give all of our thoughts here. Look, it's the council. The council of of, of, uh, of Pokemon VGC showdown discussion content has, has come together to talk about this Pokemon. But yeah, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, check out Neo VGC, that guy in a beanie, everything else. Uh, and yeah, have a nice one, guys. Like yes, bye.